He was a rescued street orphan. I found him on the side of the road and it was late at night and I was trying to find gas and coffee on the outskirts of town and um, it was strange I got lost and I was like turning around and I was so tired and I, I my headlights while I was turning around caught this little tuft of fluff on the side of the road and um, you know I thought it might be like a, a shipwrecked alien or something <laughs> but uh, I got out to inspect and he it was it was really a, a very um, I don't know how we'd call it, almost a mystical encounter because yeah. he, he like hobbled into my arms in the glow of my headlights like he'd been waiting for me there. And he was like, ear, he had ear infections and mouth infections and he had, was flea ridden and real mangy. So people say, how could anyone throw out something that's cute? And I always say, um, he, um, you know, he wasn't this cute when I found him. This is the product of uh, lots of love and, and an inspired haircut <laughs> and a full on makeover. <laughs> Well, someone told me that dogs love to have jobs. That's why they like fetching so much. Um, and he doesn't fetch, but he somehow senses that he knows it's his job to pose. So he just really gets into it. And you know, and his, all he asks for compensation is a fresh piece of chicken. <laughs> That's his scale pay. Most vets think he's a mixture of toy breeds, a really funny little mix. You know, or he could be part alien teddy bear, uh, or part Japanese cartoon character, part koala. I don't know. You can like literally like put him in a pose like that and he'll hold it for enough time to get off a few frames, you know what I mean? <laughs> Usually holds it even longer than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. He, we do a lot of charity events to raise money for animal causes and those are always full of celebrities and uh, you know, um, so, so he's, he's, uh, he's taken, and everyone wants their picture with him. And in fact, at his book signings, um, you know, uh, the president's daughter, uh, you know, Patty Davis, waited in line for three hours to get a book for Nancy Reagan. Um, and I can just picture, like, you know, Nancy sitting there with Ronnie looking through the book. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and he's uh, Rosie O'Donnell, and uh, he was a guest star in Sex in the City, and he had a scene with uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, um, and it was based on uh, the producer heard that he, he gets like five, six hundred people coming to his book signings in real life. That happens, and so he thought it would be really funny if when Carrie had her first book signing and she was all excited and she thought everyone was waiting for her, and her agent was there and breaks it to her, "Honey, I hate to break it to you, but you know, you know, they're here for Mr. Winkle. You're the warm-up author." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we get emails from people from all over the world. One guy that decided to stop drinking when he discovered Mr. Winkle, and one guy, and, and you know, and he wrote me a year later and said he was still sober and goes to the website, you know, every time he feels like having a drink to be inspired that there are such beautiful things in the world worth, you know, staying straight for. And uh, couples write and say they stop. I mean, whenever they're fighting, they go look at the Mr. Winkle calendar and it diffuses the fight. And um, one guy that decided to not to commit suicide when he discovered Mr. Winkle. And then we get really funny ones too, but he seems to have a real. Uh, People think to see him, he's like a signifier, some kind of an angel, and he somehow gives people hope and has a great healing power. These are his books. This is his trilogy of, of books. I've created over 70 characters to date. And these are also what inspired the calendars too, but I, what I, I'm fascinated by his chameleon like appearance and how many things he looks like. It's almost like he's not a dog. It's almost like he represents all the cute creatures of the world. He's a, a bumble bear. Uh, bear. Uh, he has a tail like a squirrel. His body is very much like a camel. A lion, you put a little mane on him, he looks just like a lion. There he is with his kill. A, an ancient koala, a snowy seal. Um, a hamster with a perm. There's another animal. A hamster with a hairdo. And the stuffed animal, that's the first one I ever did because that's the biggest reaction I get from people. They say, is that a stuffed animal you're holding? I think I'm a deranged woman walking around with a stuffed animal. This is one of his best friends, Willy Willy, who has a uh, wheelchair for back legs because his legs don't work. And um, he just, you know, and he thinks everyone is really neat and cool. And I, I think that I, the voice that he has is how I feel when I'm taking photographs of the world. So I thought, well, Mr. Winkle would have a voice where he just sees the beauty and magic and everything. And uh, he's very optimistic. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, he's like... <laughs>